hello guys and welcome back to my channel this is Sharisa and you're watching Sharisa tries so today I want to talk to you about uh, the second Lolita dress that I talked about in my previous video I'm not gonna try to make this long so I'm gonna try to do a quick explanation of every piece that I've done and show you the full details of I mean and show you the whole outfit as um, at the end so the first thing that I'm going to talk about, I use pattern piece. I mean, I use pattern from Simplicity 1427. I did view B. Um, I only did one modification to this, and that's how I did the top ruffle part. Um, I made two layers instead of making uh, three layers and sewing the ruffles onto two of those three layers. I just did two separate layers. And this is it. The length is the exact length that they want it to be. Um, there's drawstring in here. There's an uh, elastic also. And there's uh, a satin lining, black lining underneath. So just simple. It took me about two days to make this. And we're going to talk about the next thing, which is the shirt. So the next pattern piece that I used was from Simplicity 8671, and it was this uh, shirt right here. I know Lolita shirts are supposed to be more form-fitting, but I left mine a little bit looser. I didn't want it to be so form-fitting because COVID is doing horrible things to everybody's waistlines right about now. So I made the shirt. I made it out of a simple cotton um I didn't do any changes to it except I think I added a zipper to it. I don't think this one calls for a zipper. And I added the Jabot, Jabot, J A B O T. I added that onto it and I watched a YouTube uh, video for it. And I try to um, put the name of the channel that I watch on the screen when um, I edit the video. So that I made, I did the, um, I didn't put ribbon around the sleeve i did just a simple cotton band that matches the shirt and i made a bow they wanted you to do the bow and the band out of uh ribbon but i didn't do that i just did it out of the uh out of the material I used for the shirt. and i added these stars onto it these came a hundred in a pack from amazon for five dollars and this is the sleeve here and I made the sleeve longer also, so it comes down to like my knuckles instead of like stopping about right here. So that is the shirt. That is the underskirt. Be right back with the skirt. The next one we're going to talk about is the skirt. And I use pattern um, McCall's costume, the Yaya Han costume. And it was M7645. I just used this piece here. I uh, made it straight going across. I actually put my pieces in the um, copy machine. And I photocopied it and did all the changes on that. That way I didn't mess up my actual pattern pieces. So just a little tip that you can use uh, if you have smaller pieces that are fit on your photocopy machine that you can do that instead of messing up your um, pattern pieces or trying to trace them every time. The bottom part of the skirt, I didn't use this. I just pleated uh, about four yards of fabric. This is how it looked here. So I, the front of the skirt Instead of it being straight down, I did cut it at an angle, so it's more at an angle. I added four buttons onto it. This is the buttons. The top is corseted. And those are the pleats. And this is how the back look. I did add a panel to it, but now that I look at it, I really don't need the panel, so I can probably take the panel out. Um, the next time I try to do something like this, I will put these buttonholes that I put to have the string go through so it can stay up and not fall in. I will put it closer towards this end instead of in the middle because when you cinch it up, it moves over this way, which messes with the ties and everything. I also added a, um, this part has elastic in it. 
and when I when I'm able to close it fully in the back I can sew this up and take that part away and I wouldn't have to worry about it but it does come in handy because I can drop my strings down up in there whenever I um whenever I'm wearing it but this is the skirt all right and I will come back and show you the jacket and the last piece that I'm showing you is the jacket. The jacket was made using the Yaya Han McCall's costume pattern. It was, um, the number is M7989. And it looks like this. Um, I didn't make any modifications to this. I just made view A with view uh, B sleeves. So I did A jacket with B sleeves because there's no cuffs. And I didn't add all the buttons to it. And mines do not have buttonholes up on it. I do need to add one buttonhole to the collar part here. But I do not have buttonholes on none of mine. It's just decorative buttons with um, hook and eyes to keep it closed here and on the inside in here. And here's the jacket. So it is lined. It does have functioning pockets, and this is how the lining looks up close. And I cleaned up my edges with some grill grain ribbon. This is the front. So this is the outer part, and these are the two buttons here, two buttons here, and two buttons on each lapel. And then I put the button on the collar, but I and I still need to do the buttonhole on this, but I'm not going to have it buttoned up to the point where I'm going to need it so I can hold off on that. And I added this little piece back here that does not come on. the. It's not part of the pattern piece, but I added this on there myself. So I did add this on there and I drafted it and made it. So if you want one like that, it's it's a fairly simple piece to make. So yeah. All right, now I'm gonna show you the finished product. Be right back. And this is the finished product. And I try to put some pictures in on the at the end of all the way around so you can see closer uh, close up look of it. So yeah, but. That is it. So tell me how I do. Leave, uh, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And tell me, does this fit into the Lolita category or not? So, yeah. Y'all have a good day and peace.